Pinwheel the Necromancer, who stole the power of a Gravelord, a mother, a child, and a father, all fused into one form. His tale is one of guilt, regret, and a desperate desire to fix his mistakes. Death masks are mementos of the dead, representing the wearer before they passed away. Mask of the Father. This mask, belonging to the Valiant Father, represents great burden and equipment load. The Father made a mistake, and he carries that burden with him. It's literally a constant weight upon him. Mask of the Child. This mask, belonging to the naive child, represents the limitless energy and stamina of youth. Mask of the Mother. This mask, belonging to the kindly mother, represents the life giver and her vitality. A long time ago, something happened to this family, and they were brought together through necromancy. The father bears the weight of his wife and his child on his back, a family woven together to become Pinwheel. It seems as if, in another time long past, the human mother and child died tragically, and the father was overcome by grief. Without family, it is said that man is alone in the world. But he was valiant, and in his desperation to be reunited with his family, he took great risk to steal power from a lord of death, Nito. With this power, he attempted necromancy, reviving the corpses of his wife and child. But something went wrong. In his desperation to be reunited with his family, his necromancy backfired and the family became whole. A mother, child and father, reunited in a physical, grotesque form. Pinwheel. In his current form, Pinwheel resides in a crypt, filled with his tireless efforts at necromancy and revival. The creature is still sane, and continues to devote itself to experimentation and research into necromancy. But why? Well, the corpses of the mother and child were restored, but at what cost? They live on as an abomination. The only thing Pinwheel has managed to do so far is split itself into various forms, which are dumped and discarded at the entrance to Nito's tomb. Assumedly, Pinwheel is trying to split itself into separate beings so that the father, the mother, and the child can be properly restored as was originally intended. But nothing works. For some reason, his crypt is open when you meet him. Imagine how shocked he must be to see an intruder after all these years. Someone who would interfere with his attempt to make things right. Who knows how close he was to success. How close he was to fixing his mistake. <laughs>